calibrating the angle axis. After watching the homing video and how to calibrate each axis video for the blade wood processing system, determine if the angle axis needs to be calibrated. The angle axis should usually be calibrated before any other axis. It may be the only axis that needs calibration if the angles of cut parts and pitch on scarf cuts are inaccurate. Gather the supplies listed here. If you haven't already inspected the angle assembly, lock out tag out the saw and inspect the angle motor assembly and general area for debris or binding. Inspect the home sensor for loose or damaged parts and cables. If no mechanical issues are found that would affect the saw accuracy, remove the lockout tagout devices and power up the saw and touchscreen. To calibrate the axis, ensure the status banner on the blade home screen shows ready. You may need to press the home system button on the toolbar if the system is not in the ready state. The saw must be a manual mode for the home system button to work. With the saw manual mode, select Calibrate from the Tools ribbon. The calibration screen appears. Select Angle and press Start on the calibration screen. If a selection window appears, select Home Position, place the saw in Auto Mode, and start the saw blade motor. Use a straight 2x4 as instructed in the supplies list without any crown or bow. It is not necessary to use the cut straight board feature, but it should be a high quality straight board. Clear the saw of lumber and place the board indicated on the infeed rail. When it's done, the board ejects automatically. For the angle axis, the saw blade is oriented parallel to the top edge of the board and will make seven plunge cuts at various angles on the top edge. After the board ejects, inspect the plunge cuts. As your saw cuts the calibration board, you'll notice that the first cut that exits the outfeed will end up being the letter G. And it'll descend to F, E, all the way to A. The reason for this is so that your sawyer and or operator can determine from left to right which is the desired cut from A to G. To find the desired cut, you'll end up looking for the most level cut of your saw blade into the top of your board. Follow-on instructions can be found on the computer screen during the calibration process. Notice that it will ask you to find the desired letter and actually show you what your desired cut will look like. Notice how cut G ends up having a steep ledge and then very shallow on the other side, whereas cut F ends up having yet a steep edge, however not as steep, and then still a shallow edge on the other side. When you get to the letter E, you can actually notice that there's a step on either side. And then letter D, being the most level steps out of the seven cuts on your board. Keep in mind, you can end up having any of these cuts being the most desired cut or the most level cut. If for some instance you run into letter A or letter G being your most desired cut, go ahead and enter that information onto the screen and then end up recalibrating for your angle. You may want to compare the original and new numbers on the final value screen just to be aware if you are having the same problem over and over again. If so, determine the mechanical cause and fix it.